Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, it's all about high intensity interval training or HIIT as it's otherwise known. This is a great way to really utilize body fat as fuel, burn a ton of calories during the workout and boost your metabolic rate so that you can continue to burn calories long after the workout has been completed. It's also a great way to combine many different exercises into one routine. So if you're short on time, wanting to burn a ton of fat, and looking to maximize your workout by hitting a ton of different exercises in the most efficient time, this workout is for you. And it goes like this. I'll be using two pieces of apparatus for today. The Assault Air Runner for my cardio and the Powertech Workbench Liver Gym for all my resistance exercises. Each one performed 60 seconds all out effort and then immediately onto the next one. So cardio first, 60 seconds all out sprint, then immediately onto an exercise for 60 seconds. 20 intervals in total, each performed for 60 seconds, and theoretically, with minimal rest, we should be able to get this workout started and completed in under 30 minutes. Now, if you're just starting out on this fitness journey and you wanna approach this workout, but not quite the same intensity, I recommend 30 seconds on each one, and if you don't have either pieces of this kit, simply jumping on the spot, running, jump rope on a bike, just something that will get your heart rate up and that you can sustain for 30 seconds, followed by an exercise. Could be push-up, burpees, pull-ups, even a pair of dumbbells, doing curls, presses. Anything that works the muscle, anything that keeps the heart rate elevated. Let's kick things off with a five minute warm up on the Assault Air Runner, and then we'll start with our first interval of 60 seconds, 60 seconds. And as always, the full breakdown of this workout is listed in the description below. Let's get to it. So the benefit of warming up before our workout is twofold. One, it's to get the heart pumping blood and oxygen and nutrients all around the body, but also to kind of mentally and physically prepare us for the workout ahead. So after five minutes of doing some cardiovascular based exercise for a sustained amount of time, you don't need to go all out. A light jog, jogging on the spot for a few minutes will work. I also like to spend a few minutes foam rolling, massage ball, resistance bands, just to work my full body. Two, three minutes holding each stretch for about 20 seconds, focusing on deep breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. That way, I'm that much more prepared, warmed up, and mentally and physically ready for the workout ahead. With that being said, let's start with our first exercise. And for this, I'm gonna get back on the Assault Air Runner, 60 seconds, and move on straight to our first one, which will be a tricep press down. Let's get to it. First off, 60 seconds of all out sprinting. You're gonna feel that. Heavy breathing, your heart rate's up. Our first exercise is a tricep press down on the lever gym. And for this workout, I'm not doing it in any particular order. This is all about efficiency. So however the machine is set up, I'm gonna use it based on that exercise and then set it up for my next one, continue to move on through the sequence. So use a weight that you can manage for the duration of those 60 seconds. Even if you need to take a little rest pause throughout that set, do so. But this isn't about how much weight you can lift. This is muscular endurance. So I'm dropping my weight down by less than half and trying to maintain that cadence, the tempo of each rep from start to finish. Whether you use a watch, you have your phone or a tablet on the side with a countdown timer. Just be wary of the time. 60 seconds from when you start to when you end. Then, if you can, right back on with the cardio. Speaking of which, that's where I need to go. So, let's get on with it. All right, next up, lat pull down. Great exercise for the large wing-like muscles in the back. As you can see, I've increased the weight for this exercise because it's a much bigger muscle than just the triceps. So even though we don't want to go too heavy for each exercise, you do want to select the right resistance for that exercise. There's no point doing lat pull downs with hardly any weight. I want it to be challenging, just not too challenging. And if I get to that point, again, take a little rest or strip set, drop some weight down, continue. The goal for this workout is to continue moving both cardio and resistance for the full duration of the time. So if you're struggling, 
Stick with it, drop the weight, whatever you do, get it done. Back onto the treadmill. Our third exercise is a front-faced alternate shoulder press. So with this, I'm working one arm at a time. Great thing about this style of workout is because we're only doing that exercise for 60 seconds or whatever time you might be doing, you want to be able to perform it for that length of time. So again, it's not about weight, but I am creating some variance within my exercise. Working each arm independently from the other allows me to focus on any weaknesses or muscle imbalances and it's a different level of challenge than just pressing that weight up and down using both arms. So think about that within your exercises and your workout in general, how you can start to create some variation, some adaptations and modify many of these exercises, especially if you're doing more than one round. Okay, three down, seven to go. Let's get back on the treadmill, get on with our fourth interval sprint. Exercise four, incline chest press. And you can see how I'm working through this lever gym machines. And I have the option of taking that center pin out so I can perform both arms together or one arm independently. Good to know if I'm performing a second set on here. And just for variation within other workouts. I gotta say, the thing I love about the air runner is not only the shape, but how I can instantly jump on, build up to my top speed, perform for that length of time, and then step off, get right on with my workout. I can go straight from an exercise to within just a couple of seconds, building up to my maximum speed on there that I'm trying to hold for 60 seconds. Then I can just step off, the treadmill slows right down to a stop, move on to my next exercise. Exercise five, and for this I'm doing a modified prone or face down bench row. The great thing about this is I've already just done the incline chest press, so I can pull the bench forwards, drop the lever arms down, keep the center bar attached. I'm gonna keep the same weight on for these and go into a really nice isolated row. Something that I wouldn't normally do in the gym with free weights or a machine. So the thing about the lever gym is it's forcing me to work the same muscles but in a different way I would normally do so in a gym. Anyway, I'm feeling gassed already. Five intervals on the Assault Air Runner already. My heart is pumping. I can feel that blood, everything moving around my body, and I'm really feeling that lactic acid build up so far with my exercises. But we're halfway through, we've started it, we've got to finish strong, back on the treadmill, and pick up our sixth interval sprint. Exercise six, and for this one, I'm performing shrugs, working the traps, these sort of muscles either side of the neck, which besides just having an aesthetic look, really do help with our posture, and a lot of chest, shoulder, and back exercises. So I wanna make sure I give them some attention along with the rest of my muscle groups. For this one, keep the arms pretty straight, slight bend in the elbow, but the goal is to shrug the shoulders up towards the ears without flexing the arm. Go as heavy as you feel comfortable doing so, but remember, you need to perform this for 60 seconds. After that, it's back on the treadmill for a further 60 seconds. So let's go. On to exercise seven, and for this one, it's all about the legs. I'll be performing a squat, and the great thing about this with the PowerTech lever gym is the arc at which the lever arms follow really doesn't put that much pressure onto my lower back. In fact, it's all based around my quads, which is right where I need it. So with this shoulder width stance, keep my feet firmly on the floor, and as I reach under and step up with that bar, I feel all of the tension on my legs. As far as coming down, push the hips back, keep the knees soft. I'm lowering my body down, but keeping my hips pushed back as I do so, flexing at the knees. Great contraction in the quads. Keep that momentum going without rushing. Slight pause up the top, flex the quads, and then back down. All right, guys, we're seven in. We have three left. Let's get back on the treadmill and pick up that pace.
exercise seven, all about the abs. High cable crunch using the cable attachment and the short bar. And for this one, it gives me a really nice deep contraction in the abdominals, especially as I'm breathing heavy after those last 60 seconds of sprint. With this one, keep my arms bent at a 90 degree angle. And the only thing I'm really moving is flexing at the hips as I exhale and drive my shoulders closer towards my hips. It's a short ranged movement. I'm certainly not bringing the hands all the way down towards the floor, just enough that I can really crunch and contract the abdominals. With this one, I'm keeping about the same weight as my tricep press downs, not too heavy, but again, got to keep this going for the duration of 60 seconds. Let's get back on our treadmill and pick up our pace again. Eight exercises down, two to go. We're gonna kick off exercise nine with the arms again, triceps. Single arm, tricep kickback. I'm bringing the cable extension down to the lower cable pulley using the handle attachment. And for this one, bent over as though I'm doing a single arm row. Bring my upper arm parallel with the floor and extend back, lengthening the arm, really focusing on the tricep. Now, 60 seconds, but I'm performing 30 seconds on each arm. So hit either arm first and then switch over to your other arm and finish off those 60 seconds. Let's go. So here we are, our 10th and final exercise. We're gonna finish off with arms. One of my favorite exercises and muscle groups to work is the low cable bicep pulley. Great exercise that takes the biceps through a full range of motion, really good squeeze up at the top. And the great thing is I can keep the same setup that I had for the last exercise with those kickbacks. I've got the cable extension already set up with that short bar, stand upright, underhand grip, shoulder width apart. I'm gonna keep my upper arm slightly pulled forward so that as I pull that bar up towards my shoulders, all of that tension is kept on my biceps throughout the full range of motion. This is our 10th and final exercise. I started on the Assault Fitness Runner, so no need to go back on there unless you really want to go for a second round. But that completes our 20 set interval for today's workout. 10 intervals on the Assault Air Runner, superseted with 10 intervals on the Powertech Workbench Lever Gym. We did that in about 26 minutes, so not bad. It's a real challenge based around time. You know what, give this a go. Follow all of the exercises if you want in the video description below. And you can see my Facebook for more variations on both the Assault Air Runner and the Lever Gym, along with links to both of these awesome pieces of apparatus. Whew. Whatever you do within your workout, make sure it counts. Give it your all. Go hard. And if you can, try and progress it at least every other workout. Okay, that's enough from me here today. Hope to uh, have you with me for my next workout and in the kitchen here on my YouTube channel and Instagram and Facebook. I've been Rob Riches. Thank you for watching. Give it a go and drop me a comment below if you do and leave your best time. See you guys soon. Take care.